Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about rheumatic fever. This is an autoimmune reaction caused by group A streptococci. When these bacteria infect the pharynx and the respiratory tract, the body can produce antibodies to fight these bacteria. But these bacteria contain a protein called protein M, which is very similar in structure to the protein found in our kidneys. So sometimes the body mixes up these proteins, and instead of fighting the bacteria, it goes and fights the kidneys, which is why it is very important to eliminate group A streptococcal infection as soon as possible. This disease is very common in girls around 10 years of age, and we have a criteria to diagnose it. It's called Jones criteria. To make the diagnosis, the patient has to have two symptoms of the major category or one symptom of the major category and two symptoms of the minor category. The major category are arthritis, carditis, subcutaneous nodules, erythema marginum, and chorea. The minor category is fever, heart block, which presents with bradycardia with increased PR interval, or increasing in the ESR, CRP, or ASO. Again, the patient has to have two from here, or one from here and two from here. The bacteria is very mild and it can simply be treated by penicillin. But if the patient did not take the treatment and ended up developing rheumatic fever, we give them intramuscular penicillin for five years. And if there are cardiac symptoms, we give them intramuscular penicillin for 10 years. So to recap, rheumatic fever is an autoimmune reaction by cross-linking of the group A streptococci and the renal tissue. And this causes many symptoms, mainly arthritis, carditis, skin nodules, skin rash, and chorea. And we treat it by penicillin. The patient has to take penicillin for five years or 10 years if there is cardiac symptoms. And here is our daily quiz. Which of the following is a complication of rheumatic fever? Almost all patients will develop mitral regurgitation regardless of treatment.